Hello, in this video I wanted to talk about this writing curriculum that we used in our homeschool this last year. It's called Writing and Rhetoric and um, it combines um, the classical way of teaching writing but also with some of the Charlotte Mason philosophies of education. What first drew me to this curriculum was the fact that they do use the Charlotte Mason style of learning, and that's how or why I started looking into it. So writing and rhetoric is, rhetoric is the art of speaking and writing well. So each lesson is broken up into three or four days, depending on how you want to do it. You do not do a whole lesson in one day, and this breaks it down for you, so it makes it easy. These are all the books. There's 12 books all together. Um, you can begin either at third or fourth grade, and it goes up to either eighth or ninth grade. Here it shows you some of the things they will be learning in each of the books, which is a lot of stuff. So the way you begin each lesson is by first reading the fable. You read it out loud to your students. Um, they do sell a CD that if you want to purchase that, um, the CD has all the fables and they just listen to it instead of having you read it. And then once the fable has been read, it's time for them to tell it back or um, narration in their own words. And they always give you the first sentence to help you get started. Then there's the talk about it section, which is um, part of the, the rhetoric, rhetoric today, sorry. Um, and then go deeper. And here, it says circle the one sentence in the fable that captures the main idea. So that's what that is. And then this one says which proverb would best serve as a moral lesson for the fable. And then they circle them. For this part, the talk about it section in the teacher's guide, um, there's a section for that that helps you um, like here. So you would just go over this with your student every time they get to this section. And then it continues. So um, they have to find adjectives. Here they have to write a complete sentence that describes how a timid boy might act when he walks into his new classroom on the first day of school. Here, circle the adjective that best describes the lion. So, different things like that. There's a lot of, like, multiple choice, circling. Um, so, that would be day one. On day two, then, you do the writing time, which always starts with copy work. And here's the sentence they have to copy. And then there's the dictation part. And then, in the teacher guide is... Um, where you would find what you would dictate. You don't have to say all this. You can actually choose. Um, I don't. Some are not this big, um, but usually you can choose between two different um, options to dictate to your student. Student, depending on what level they're in. And then here you have sentence play. That could be anything from using the words in a different order or using replacing words with similar words, things like that. And then last, it says rewrite the fable using a mouse in the role of the strong animal. And they give you some examples. And then you have to go and rewrite the fable. Um, and here it is again. If the students need to reread it and then they write their own fable. 
Now on the last day is the speak it section and that is when they practice reading their fable out loud to you and then practice standing up straight, speaking loudly and clearly so you can be heard. Um, for us, sometimes if the writing part was a little too long, we would actually break it up into two days. And that helped and it was fine, no issues. So the lessons are very similar, but there are sometimes there are different things. For example, in this lesson here, they have to write a summary. Um, so they use the fable that was read, and then um, the teacher's guide wants you, the student to go and cross out things that you don't necessarily need in your summary. Um, and then keep the things that are needed to tell the story still. Sometimes, instead of a summary, they have to make the story or the fable longer. For example, here, amplification. So they give you a summary of the fable and then the student has to amplify it and add more details and make it longer. That is basically how it works. Um, here they have to find the nouns and the adjectives. And in this lesson, they're also doing some copiousness. It says, remember that there are often lots of ways to say the same thing. Learning to write copiously will help you to stretch for new, richer words. And then the teacher's guide. Um, you actually do need the teacher's guide in order for the students to be able to do their work in their workbook. Um, the teacher's guide has all the answers, but it also has the dictation part, what they want you to dictate to the student so that they can write it. So we really enjoyed this. My son really liked this. This was actually one of his favorite things to do. And um, he is one that doesn't really like writing, and that is the reason why I was searching for a different writing curriculum, because it was always his least favorite thing to do. But this he actually liked. Um, he actually enjoyed doing it. He looked forward to it. I don't know, I think he liked all the different things that he had to do sometimes circle things or change a sentence um, and I liked it myself so I would recommend this writing program um, to anyone um, we have already purchased book two for this coming school year and if things continue as they are we will probably use all the books um, this is a classical approach but also it combines the Charlotte Mason philosophies of education.